Britain is set to spend $650 million buying 200 state-of-the-art air-to-air missiles from the United States, it emerged today. The U.S. State Department has given permission for the sale of the weapons to Britain, concluding it will support for the foreign policy and national security of Donald Trump's America. The missiles will likely be used by Britain's fast jets, particularly the Typhoon and brand new Lightning fleets. News of the possible sale may ease tensions over President Trump's visit to the UK which has been dominated by his incendiary interventions over Brexit. The deal includes logistical support, personnel training and contractors from the US government. The missiles, sold by Raytheon Missile Systems, are designed as a fire and forget weapon that allows a pilot to target an enemy plane they cannot see. Using a radar system they can be fired in all weather conditions, day or night. Share this article share the US State Department said the sale will support the foreign policy and national security policies of the United States by helping to improve the security of a NATO ally which has been and continues to be an important partner on critical foreign policy and defense issues. Earlier this month, Defense Secretary Gavin Williamson officially opened a new missile factory in Bolton producing short- and long-range missiles. The Ministry of Defense invested pounds 50 million in the new MBDA Limited facility, which combines design, engineering and manufacturing experts. Mr. Williamson said this £50 million factory supports 700 jobs in Bolton, showing how central strong British defence industry is to our national prosperity. MBDA's investment has created more than 100 new jobs, and this has been supported by a £400 million contract from the government helping to create a further 100 roles within the company. You can't have prosperity without security. MBDA in Bolton is keeping Britain safe while creating highly skilled jobs and opportunities, demonstrating our commitment to the people of Bolton and the North West. Mail in Line has contacted the Ministry of Defense for comment about the purchase of missiles from the United States.